Oh, the death of Simon Scudamore. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, right? He was an actor known for doing that movie Slaughter High, and I remember uh, doing that review about Slaughter High. It was, it's one of my favorite 80s slasher films. Film in England, but you, you might as well say it's an American film, because, well, the characters were supposed to be American, or Canadian, I don't know. But... He sadly killed himself, uh, well, he had a a drug problem, a heroin problem, and it says he killed himself in 1984 by overdosing on heroin. Sad, because, you know, ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get this video right. Anyway, let's... Like I said, it's sad. Can you imagine if he was alive today? He, he could have done a, a couple more uh, slasher films or 80s comedies. Or I'm not saying he was going to be a big star. I'm not saying he he's one of the greatest actors in the world. But you never know. He could have been a... He could have done uh, some other films or TV shows. I think Slaughter High is the only film he's ever done. Yeah, it's the only film he's ever done. And I think, yeah, he worked uh, for a school for a... How am I going to say this right? Deprived Children. It says so on the Internet Movie Database. I was looking for his biography so I could do uh, information on this video. But yeah, it said he worked for he worked uh, at a school for deprived children. A, a child actor school, What you know. But it, like I said, it's sad that he died in 1984. He was born on April 15th, 1956. He died on November 21st, 1984. He was 28 years old. It's sad. That's what I'm going to say. But you know, a lot of... It's like a lot of actors you've seen in the 80s and they only done one or two films and you, you, you enjoyed their acting in that particular film. And that's the only uh, films they've done because they died or... No longer do show, no longer act or do or in show business or you know whatever. But like I said, it's sad what happened to Simon Scudamore. If he was alive, he's gonna done. He could have done a, and you know some of uh, British eighties movies or, you know he could have done a, uh, comedies, dramas, whatever. If he wanted to uh, have a career in show business, but you never know. Anyway, that's it. I just felt like talking about the sad death of Simon Scudamore, who died of a heroin overdose in 1984. It's just, it's sad that these actors have to do drugs, or it's sad that they're had they have personal issues they couldn't work out. They had, you know, personal demons they couldn't battle. That's all I'm gonna say. But if only he was alive, he could have uh, done other films with that. Uh, the other actress in Slaughter High, I can't remember her name, uh, the one that his character Marty Rancy was trying to seduce, but it was all a big April Fool's joke. You got to see that movie Slaughter High to know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's it. I'm about to end this video. I didn't feel like making a long video of this. I might talk about more deaths of celebrities who have passed, or you know, or just uh, comedians, comedians that are not famous, like uh, Mick Schmullion. I did that video about him. Uh, yeah, you know, I might do more videos about that. And I should I need to do uh, more videos about my subject, my obsession with lost films. Remember last year I was talking about, uh, no, it was uh, this year, it was months ago, I was talking about uh, lost films, old films that uh, has been lost and we, we never seen them again. Or, you know, they we can't find them. But anyway, I'm about to end this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Just subscribe. I need more subscribers. Please, please, please. Anyway, that's it. I'm out.